guys and welcome back to tutorial number 10 part 3 and the previous tutorials I showed you guys how to do a 7 segment display basically to display to a 7 segment display I showed you how to do the up down counter and in this tutorial I'll show you how to do a clock divider the clock divider what it is it's um slows down our clock on our board so we are able to see the output on our 7 segment display if we were not to slow it down then we wouldn't be able to see the values displayed so the first thing I want to do is show you an equation and I'll explain what this is later so this equation here is um, you get the clock that is on your board so the clock that is coming in and then divide it by the clock that you want so, and then multiply that by a half or just Divide that, divide that in frequency by the out frequency and then divide what you get there by 2 so my clock is a 50 megahertz clock and I'm assuming most of your guys' clock it's a 50 megahertz too so mine is a 50 megahertz and I want 1 hertz out so what I do is divide 50 million by 1 then multiply it by a half so 50 million divided by 1 is 50 million and then divided by half is 25 million and that's a number I want you guys to remember for right now now I'm gonna go ahead and start the code and then I will explain to you guys where you use that 25 million alright guys so here is my clock divider the first thing I did was to declare the inputs and outputs and then I declare a counter that is 25 bits long the reason I made it 25 bits is because 2 to the 25th gets me closer to 25 million which is the number that we calculated here in this equation remember I told you to remember that number well that number is what determines your counters, counter bits and then after that I didn't always block that is sensitive to the input clock uh, or the reset so it looks for both and then inside the always block you have a if statement that checks for the reset if the reset is high then the output clock is zero and the counter resets to zero mm, if it's if the reset is not high then the counter will increment and check if counter is greater than or equal to 25 million then toggle the clock and the counter again will be set to zero and again it will go through the loop and check so that's the way the clock works it basically toggles and this here is the value that changes according to the equation right here so again guys you have a frequency that comes in from your board and the frequency you want times one half and by using this equation you're able to substitute these values by fi to find the counter value and the substitute the value in the if statement right here so I'm gonna go ahead and do the test bench now and we'll check make sure that our clock works I'll be right back alright guys so what you need to add is a pound 10 reset reset make it too high and then pound 100 reset uh, equal to zero and then end your initial do an always pound 10 uh, your input clock and then toggle it and that's basically it for the test bench so let me zoom in so you guys can see it so I just added these two lines and this line right here so let's go ahead and run it now and you're gonna have to go up on the top to your right and do run all because since it's half of the initial clock that is from our board it's gonna take a while so just be patient and let it run until it at the, at the beginning you're gonna think it's wrong but if you let it run for a while it will actually give you toggle the other clock so just be patient and let it run so I'm gonna pause it while it does that it takes a couple 
like three minutes to do it so i'm gonna pause it and i'll be right back all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and pause it so the pause button is these two lines just press there and then this will pop out it's telling you where it finished running through it so you don't worry about it just click here and then minimize it so you're able to see you're gonna have to minimize a lot you won't be able to see the other one but you'll be able to see your output and there you go you see so it toggles I w it was gonna begin another one but I just stopped it so I just wanted to show you that it does toggle so it takes a second for each it doesn't really take a second f like in the computer second but it takes it's every se every sec half second it will toggle so the next toggle will be here and that's it guys I hope this helps you out and I'll see you soon for the next part of this video the next part will be uh, connecting all the modules together to make the final counter we'll see you soon bye